So if you're asked to figure out which fraction's greater, one and two thirds or one and three fourths, here's how you can do that. So since we have one here and one here, that's the same, that's equal. So let's just ignore that, focus on the two thirds and the three fourths. And what we wanna do is get the denominators here to be the same. Right now we have three and four, but if those were the same, compare the numerators, we could tell whether one and two thirds is greater than, less than, or equal to one and three fourths. So why don't we take three times four, three times four, that equals 12. And then down here, we could say four times three. That also equals 12. Now we have the same denominator. We can't just multiply the denominator by three. We need to multiply the numerator by three as well. Three over three, that's just one. So we're multiplying by one. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. Three times three, that's nine. And nine twelfths has the same value as three fourths. These are equivalent fractions. Up here, let's multiply two times four. So we have four over four, two times four is eight. Eight twelfths, same thing as two thirds. But now, same denominator, let's just compare the numerators. And we'll know if one and two thirds is greater than, less than or equal to one and three fourths. Nine is greater than eight, so nine twelfths, that's greater than eight twelfths. Only by one twelfth, but it's larger. And since these are equivalent and these are equivalent, one and three fourths, that's gonna be greater than one and two thirds. That's how you do it. This is Dr. B, thanks for watching.